for the presentation. At that time, Imam al asked, asked the last one that don't appoint anybody to be my representative after you because the time of Qaybat al Sura is over. And from now on, is Qaybat al Kubra. It's a long um, term of uh, occultation or absence. So, in the time of Qaybat al Kubra, we have representative, we have na'ib, but we have general na'ib, not a specific na'ib. Maraji, ulama, faqih, we have hadith that fuqaha are the nawab and representative of Imam al-Asr. But not specifically. Imam Zaman doesn't say, okay, this person by his name, he is my representative. No, no. Imam Zaman gives us, gave us some uh, criteria some qualities and he asked us if you find these qualities if you find this criteria in some person he is my representative so in any time we find a person who is knowledgeable who is muttaqi who is this that all these qualities so we follow him because he is representative of imam zaman so this is different between qaybat al kubra and qaybat al sughra so, Qaybat uh, al-Kubra starts from that time until now, and uh, we don't know to what time, to when, and until what time it will continue, until the reappearance of Imam Zaman, the time, this time is uh, going to continue. Okay, uh, it is good to know something about uh, Islamic Golden Age, page 4. Uh, some points about this uh, time. As you know, in first uh, categorization that I had here, we categorized the history of Islam into several parts. First we say the time of Rasulullah, then we have the time of Khulafa, then the time of uh, Bani Umayyah, then the time of Bani Al-Abbas. During Bani Umayyah and Bani Al-Abbas, some uh, changes, some development happened in Islam. Especially in 2nd century, in the end of 2nd century and beginning of 3rd century, it was the golden age of Islam. There are many developments in science, in philosophy, in theology, in mathematics, in astronomy, and all these things. So we call this time the golden age. It is very important because at the same time in Western society it was dark age. There was no sign of science. There was no sign of mathematics and philosophy. I explain for you when we had philosophy that even Greek philosophy came first to Islam and then from Islam shifted to, to the West and Western philosophy. So this time is very important in Islamic history. It is good to have some points about this time and then we go finally to the last part which is the Islamic revival or uh, the modern or the current uh, changes in Islam. Okay, who wants to read for us? Maybe some sisters. Some parts. The page four, Islamic Golden Age. Also saw the rise of classical Sufism. 
The greatest accomplishment, however, was the completion of the can canonical collection canonical of hadiths. Collections of hadith. Thank you. Okay. Uh, later, uh, then I explain some and mention some names and some scientists in different areas. For example, in physicians, in mathematics, astronomy. Uh, chemical uh, no, uh, sciences and technology. So you can read later on and I gave you some examples and some specific names that uh, they had a very good contribution in Islamic uh, development and uh, to create this golden age in, inside the history of Islam. After this we come to the Islam in modern time. It is very important to know this time. I think uh, this part of history is very important for us. For every single student of Islamic studies, it is very important and necessary, wajib, zaruri, to know this part of Islamic history. What happened this recent two centuries, the last two centuries? What happened to Islam? What happened to as a rival, uh, uh, revival of Islam, or uh, we can say ihya? Revival means ihya. Ihya dobare Islam. What happened? And it is very important to know our time uh, and the Islam today. So we go to page five, Islam in modern time, and I would like to ask Muhammad to continue uh, this part of the. History. In the 18th and 19th centuries AD, Islamic regions fell under the sway of European imperial powers. Following World War I, the remnants of the Ottoman Empire were par parceled out as European protectorates. Mm -hmm. By the end of the 19th century, the Ottoman Empire had declined due to internal conflict and the failure to keep peace, pace with the European technological and economical development. Since then, no major widely accepted claim to the caliphate, which had been less claimed by Ottomans, remained. Okay, thank you. Uh, actually, this Ottoman means Osman, Osmani, which was a caliph or ruler of Turkey at that time. And uh, before World War I and World War II, uh, it was the biggest uh, Islamic land at that time, which include uh, Turkey, Syria, Lebanon, Saudi Arabia, and uh, some parts of uh, uh, Middle East, even Egypt. 